Mr. Igard. Mm. First of all, it's good to have you on my show. Yes, <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I'm super excited to host one of the baddest when it comes to reggae music, or rather dance or music, call it Afropop in Africa. How does it feel to be called, uh, you know, the king of reggae music or dance or music in Africa? Mm. It's nice. It's nice. This is a nice, it's a nice way too because everybody is a king mm -hmm. in, in irrespective, everybody is a queen. Right. If we, if we have to see ourselves in that manner. Mm -hmm. I think it is only by virtue of the input that I bring onto the table mm -hmm. that, you know, people believe that I hold, you know, that position of a king to okay. continue to deliver and serve. Mm -hmm. you know I got, why I got, where did, where It's did, one God, you know. It's one God. Yeah, and everything we do is only one God that exists. So that's you know? why you call yourself. He is yourself. the beginner and the author of our faith. Uh -huh. He is the creator of the universe, the supreme being that controls everything. The one we can't see, but we feel and we know. Uh -huh. So my belief in God is, 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 is to the extreme. Uh -huh. and, I, and, I, and, 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 and I can, and I only credit everything that I have been, my existence, you know. I consider myself as... Um, you know, like, imagine when God keeps you alive for his purpose. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to be able to touch you. True. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's what I've always believed, and I still hold on to that. That's why I decided to say one God, and there's only one God, mm. and I believe in only one God. Mm -hmm. There's only one God in me that makes me do what I do. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. So that's like AKA. AKA. Mm, giving glory back to yeah. the source of life and where it comes from. True. Yeah, bless his imperial majesty. So, you know, I say, beam. When I say beam, it's B-H-I-M. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, everything around my foundation is built on the, on, on, on the grace of God, mm. on the rock, you know. And it's good to have that faith. Yeah, man. So, it's that's just important. that's just it for me. Nothing else, nothing above, nothing beneath. So, I hope I'm pronouncing the name well. Stone Boy or Stone Boy? Stone Boy, Stone Boy. <laughs> stone, stone Boy. boy it's spelled Stone Boy, but it still means Stone Boy, so... Mm -hmm. However you grab it, okay. I'll respond. Okay. Um, where did Stone Boy, uh, or rather, um, why did the name Stone Boy? Because you have an, uh, you know, an AKA name already, which is One God. Mm. Stone Boy. Why Stone Boy? I mean, Stone Boy started the journey, and then later on I added that other um, affiliate you know, mm -hmm. or appellation or whatever. Mm. And I've explained why the, 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 yeah. the one God, you mm -hmm. know. Yes. Um, stone boy comes out from my name, Livingstone. Mm -hmm. Livingstone yeah. is my name, so you can imagine. So go stone and then boy, mm. basically, you know, for the dance or reggae influence. Mm -hmm. So you get the stone boy. Your two names are extremely difficult for me to pronounce. Why? Because, like, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. That's the easiest. You can call me stone. No. Your ID uh, names, uh, Livingstone. Livingstone. Yes, Livingstone. Satekla. Sate. Satekla. Wow, Satekla. Yeah. Ghanaian. It's easy to pronounce. Ghanaian. You see when you realize you easy. <laughs> Ghanaian, African. Mm -hmm. You know. You're CEO of a music label. You're an actor. You know, and I remember in the 2015 you won an act. You know, the BET, uh, which was the best international um, act from Africa. Uh, you also have like two billboard plaques, uh, which is amazing as an African artist because we don't get so much uh, recognition. How was that for you? You know, I mean, that's uh, that. Those were good moments that has brought me here. Mm -hmm. You know, especially winning the Artist of the Year from Ghana, going yeah. on to win the BET at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. We've, we've, we've won a lot of awards. Just last week, we won the um, Best International Artist from Africa at the at the Caribbean Af, at the Af, Caribbean Afro awards, awards mm -hmm. you know, in the UK. So mm -hmm. we just keep winning, irrespective. When I wake up in the morning and I have breath and I have life, mm. I have won. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it feels good to be here and contributing my quota. And there is more to come, I tell you honestly. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, man. Last month, you also released a song uh, with Gentlemen. Exactly. <laughs> Can we talk about it? They just can't stop the dance. Yes, I. Big ups to a legend, mm -hmm. a big brother, mm -hmm. who has seen it all, done it all, and still contributing to 
our culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Big respect to the legend, gentleman. I love Beautiful your songs. Beautiful song. And the collaboration. <sighs> gentleman. How did it even, you know, come Bro, about? that's like a dream come true. The thing is, we met at Reggae Sun first yeah. in 2019. Uh-huh. And then we linked up from there. And all through 2022 right now, we met again at um, Summer yeah, Jam. Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. I no, Summer Jam. I mean, we met in 2019 at Summer Jam. Yeah. And then Summer Jam again. Yeah. So I've done Summer Jam two years, mm -hmm. you know, two times mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this trip after the event, we connected. We shared a lot of love and respect. He has a lot of respect for my craft. And I have always been inspired by mm. his craft. Right. Because these are big brothers. These yeah. are our fathers mm. in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so to, to, there's an adage that says if you know how to wash your hands, if mm -hmm. a child knows how to wash their hands, mm. they are permitted to dine with elders. So that's just what happened with the collaboration with Gentleman. We mm -hmm. were in the studio. We grabbed the, the song was officially supposed to have Spice on it mm -hmm. with myself, but, mm -hmm. you know, we eventually ended up being me and Gentleman and Beautiful Peace is new, is running the place right now. And once you're a lover of music and you love Gentleman and Stoneboy, mm. you love dancehall music, please log on to that one and enjoy. It was created for you. Um, we would love to know what brings you to Kenya because uh, a couple of days saw you in Rwanda and... Mm -hmm. um, I actually got to know you in Kenya through a live uh, session that you were doing yesterday with Sean Paul. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I was really excited to, uh, you know, to know that. But I would really love to understand, or rather people would love to understand, what exactly brings you to Kenya? Yeah, man. Kenya is supposed to be home for all Africans, home and abroad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? First and foremost, I have to establish that. Yeah. And then now I had the opportunity to come to Rwanda over the weekend, mm -hmm. you know, to graze an occasion which was called the Guba Awards, mm. the Grow Unite Build Africa Awards. Okay. In attendance were some of African greats, you know, mm. who have made numerous great strides, both home and abroad. Yeah. Talking about entrepreneurs, talking about politicians, talking about people in, go in government, you know, and in different places. So... I was called upon to perform for them. Mm -hmm. And that, again, is another honor done me because, you know, right. the music transcends, um, um, it transcends um, age, you know, from the streets to the corporate and all of that. So I was able to deliver. And, you know, even in attendance was the CEO of the Grammy Awards. Mm -hmm. He was right there jamming and clapping and all of that. Shout outs to Mr. Harvey, mm -hmm. you know. And I decided that, no, I couldn't get to Rwanda and not visit Kenya. Yeah. So I pushed Sad. things apart, pushed things apart. And I was able to secure three or four nights. <laughs> and shall be back again. And on top of that, I think it, it, it's, it's been timely because I just dropped a new song called Giddy Ba, Firm ooh, and Strong. Ooh, 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 ooh. So basically, I just came off of the back of that one and called upon my Kenyan family. Yeah. Yeah, likewise, in Rwanda, I did a few radio, like two radios and that. And then here... It's been, it's been back to back to back to back to back to back. I'm grateful, you know what I mean? Is so it? So I came to drop the song basically and connect with my Kenyan brothers, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Is it the same song that you introduced yesterday when you were doing the live? Yeah, Ooh. actually. It's a vibe. That's the one. It's, it's been a out. vibe. That's the one. That's the it's one. It's a vibe. The, the video is yet to come out. Oh, it promises to be a great one, you know what I mean? It's like a short film that speaks the story that mm. I'm trying to enact in there about confidence and believing in yourself and fighting for what is right and standing strong you hear me yeah how does it make you feel you know to be invited in such a platform especially where there are political um you know personalities and big uh, names such as you know the one that you've said uh, uh, the ceo of uh, grammy awards how does that make you feel to be in that space with them and especially performing for them. Yeah, the thing is, you know, I'm, I see it as I'm, I'm, I'm in a happy place because that gives me an opportunity to express my talent to people that I am able to see in person, mm -hmm. people of that caliber. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that tells you that I'm doing something right or better still, 
my presence counts, you know, mm -hmm. in delivering musical material to the world. Mm. Yeah, man. So it feels good that I'm performing my duty and this is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. I see the love you have for Kenya and, uh, of course, mm. uh, you know, the love, um, the amount of love that Kenya has for you mm -hmm. is huge. Um, tell me you've learned a little bit of, you know, our Sheng or language. What, what? A little bit of what? Our language. Swahili. Do yeah, you? yeah. I know, I, I know Swahili is the most spoken African language, Okay. you know, because of the numbers that speak it. Okay. So, you know, Nakupenda is I love Ooh. you, you know. <laughs> You know, and um, okay. sour, sour. Sour, sour. Is, uh, is it thank you? It, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. yes, I. So, I mean, with these two words, you can go everywhere in the world. <laughs> you can the, go don't, don't worry yourself. World. Just have, just have, it's okay. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> I have a song titled Hakuna Matata. Oh, tell me about yes, it. Yes, on my last album. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, go and yeah, check yeah. it out. Hakuna Matata is, uh -huh. um, is what? Well. No problem at all. Oh. Yes. Hakuna Matata. Oh, no really? problem. Boom, oh. Nothing. Yes. Akuna matata. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What did you? What did you? Honestly. Have in mind. Yeah. Nakupenda is I love you. Akuna uh matata. -huh. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. What about the food? I hope you've tried a Kenyan, you know, food. Bro, you see me. I eat simple, you know. So, I just, I just make sure I eat simple. And you eat so simple. What does that mean? I, I tried something that. Ugali, <laughs> chapati, jano, nyama choma. Nyama choma is what well, I've known. <laughs> nyama and choma. chapati as well. Uh -huh. Hey, it's serious. So. <laughs> yeah, I just it's eat serious. simple. I just eat my rice and get some stew and I'm off plantain and I'm going. Oh my Drink God. a lot of water and juice and I'm off and the off. table. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Talking about the Kenyan uh, you know, language or rather the Swahili, I've seen you speaking perfect patwa. What? No way. Not perfect, but... Okay, but you literally... <laughs> I'm just kidding. No one will differentiate <laughs> when you're speaking in Patua. Because we are Africans in the end. Wait, do you know I only know a little bit of Patua? And, uh, Patua. and I don't know anything about Swahili. Okay, so we can teach each other. All right. Perfect. Like, mm. you know, I mentioned the beauty of it is that these are all, like, rooted in, in, in our blackness. You know? I mean, <laughs> that's why... We are able to, if you learn, mm -hmm. you can pick it up. Right. So, you know. And it brings me to the conversation that you were having, uh, you know, yesterday with um, Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. I, I saw you perform at the Global Citizen, and you yeah. know, that is a huge stage. And I've seen the hashtag that you're using, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hashtag Afrobeat uh, conversation, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you saying that, you know, you and Sean saying uh, there's a lot of controversies, you know, in terms of like media trends, you know, taking things, mm -hmm. you know, from the conversation that you guys are having and changing it and making it a bigger deal. Mm -hmm. I need to understand where did this come from, especially when we speak about reggae music, dancehall music originating from Africa. This conversation has been a conversation that has lingered on over the years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in an interview, you know, I expressed again once more my view of it, mm. just like I've expressed in Jamaica mm -hmm. a lot of times, without being misinterpreted or misunderstood. Mm. So, once, once more, I'm being asked and I will had the opportunity to reiterate on that. Mm. And then, you know, the write-ups had to put it in a way that if you don't get to read it all to the end, mm. and if you don't get to have a positive mind towards what you've read, mm. you'll end up to feel like I'm saying reggae and dance or music does not belong to Jamaicans. Okay. Or to an extent, does not belong to no Caribbean society, okay. but belongs to Africans. Mm -hmm. In that context, I meant to say that. And I, and I repeat, I said, after saying a lot of things, I said reggae and dance or music does not belong to any Caribbean society. Okay. Um, from its core, same way we can share the vibes Mm. amongst us as black people. I was just trying to 
relates back to the fact that, you know, the Jamaicans have definitely, I, I, come on, man. How could I ever say reggae and dance on music was not birthed and created in Jamaica? Okay. It is. It remains so. Mm -hmm. And it's the same way remains our music, mm -hmm. black people yeah. music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's just by extension. I was trying to extend it for people to get the broader picture of the fact that mm -hmm. it is not supposed to be a mystery to know that Africans and African artists have been influenced or also participate in calling themselves reggae and dance artists and actually contributing to, you know, the sound that okay. we all love. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is. And definitely the great legend Sean Paul shared a lot of light on the fact that, yes, it has connecting roots mm. to the motherland mm -hmm. where we all basically come from. Yeah. And that's just the niceness I was trying to share. Mm. I wasn't trying to take credit from Jamaica because mm. I have always given credit. Mm -hmm. I've always respected and known that, you know, before it was very cool to be an Afrobeats artist, mm -hmm. it was really very cool to be a dancer or reggae artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. And then we need to just hold each other hand in hand because it is the same tree with enough branches. Right. You know what I mean? What team do you support in terms of football? No. You don't support any football team? <sighs> support. I love football. Okay. But I'm not like... Um, for specific team. I'm not a fanatic, fanatic of okay. them one day. All right. My kid brother plays football. Yeah. So I support him. I support Black Stars. I, so I would love, one thing I just I would love to see African football grow Ooh. as huge as the EPL and all them one day. Talk about That's it. That's it. Yes, I would That's, love that. to see that too. Anytime anybody asks me about football, mm. it reminds me of my wish of seeing, you know, our leagues become this big because Africa has the numbers to back it up. Yeah. You know, in terms of business. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. we just have to fix the infrastructure properly that regulates and runs, you know, our our leagues. Mm -hmm. And I think it requires a lot of investment and mm -hmm. everything. So we just hope and pray that one day mm -hmm. mindsets become well more, you know, disciplined and focused in order to achieve because it's not impossible to achieve that as Africans. We have all the resources. Okay. We have all the manpower. We have the talent mm. to make them happy. Okay, kindly assist me on this. Um, uh, I think when we were having a conversation down there, I told you um, Rango is one of my favorite songs. <laughs> uh, so. I would really love for you to give me a freestyle on that one. But you love to support oh, no, me. Oh, no, hear me, please. This one, you sang me, I sing from the deep. Long in my heart, I may feel like to weep. Well, if I think I go on where the people can't keep, can't sleep, stone boy, I'm come here to speak. You are the one to make life easy, same you, I make it harder, harder. After everybody mash up and there is no way to scatter, tell me, tell me where we gonna run go. After we're making our motherland a better place to live, tell me where we gonna run go. When them say we have to pay for the oxygen we breathe. As I'm in now, Mr. Kenya, you know, says everybody want to go wrong go a Babylon. Simple life is all we want to live. Oh, Lord, I love that yeah, song. Yeah, man, I'm What would you say your music stands for? Liberation, freedom, you know? Mm -hmm. Consciousness, you know? Yeah. Um, feel good vibes. And identity of blackness. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, well. That's deep. What makes you happy? Life makes me happy. Positivity, you know. You know what I mean? Positivity will make everybody happy because not having any form of negativity towards one another and actually doing things that will hurt one another. Mm -hmm. So when people do things that show you love, you're definitely going to be happy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And if they do things that bring you hate, you're just definitely going to be sad. Mm -hmm. So vice versa, if we realize that, you know, happiness is key, mm. we wouldn't leave it in the hands of people, irrespective, right. you know. We just have to understand 
that, yeah, we need to live life, we need to be happy. So life really makes me happy when I see my kids, when I see my wife, when yeah. I see beautiful people around me, when I realize that I have life mm -hmm. and I have to appreciate the fact that I wake up every morning and I'm not dead right. and I'm not in the hospital and I'm not sick, bro. Mm. I try to be happy as much as I can mm -hmm. because nothing is permanent mm. on this globe. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. The things that we worry about the most are not even some of the permanent things that we're going to we're gonna we're gonna enjoy forever, or or, or, or you know, mm -hmm. or take with us when we leave. So, yeah. Tell me about you know, you know your life where you grew up. I grew up in the city of Ashaiman, one of the biggest cities and you know hardcore places to ever come out from mm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was it for you growing I mean, up? A lot of lessons, a lot of teachings. It has shaped me and who I am today. The tenacity. Um, the way I love, you know, and, you know, the energy that I use in pushing myself as a person mm. and, and catering for or inspiring other people. Mm. Look, Shaiman taught me all of it. Mm -hmm. Apart from even representing Ghana as a mm -hmm. country and your country, you represent Africa in terms of Afropop, reggae, and dance or music. Yeah, man. Do you think it's too much pressure for you or... Because for me, I would say you're mm -hmm. really representing mm -hmm. the, uh, you mm -hmm. know, the entire continent mm -hmm. in a very good way. You're right. And we are so proud of you. You're right. Because reggae music is something that other continents need to understand that we can produce. Mm -hmm. It's not only Afro beats or, mm -hmm. you know, different genres. Mm -hmm. How does it feel for you? Because do you think it's pressure? Thank you. To who much is given, much is expected. I only believe that I've been given much. Yeah. So... The expectation is what it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's how simple I can put it. Mm -hmm. And also I realize that since I've been given much and this is what I can do, I mm. just study, I pray, I work hard, and I deliver. Mm -hmm. One thing I liked about you is you went to school. You studied business um, um, and uh, not very easy to find artists embracing the education mm. part, you know, of, you know, life. Uh, would you say it was necessary for you to do it? Because at the end of the day, marketing is important when it comes to your mm. music. Mm. Do you think it was necessary or you did it for the aspect of, you know, just studying? Yeah, life, I mean, life itself is, 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 is full of, you know, learning. So whether you get it formally or you get it informally, mm -hmm. You're, you know, you have to find a way to continue to learn. So mm. I think at a point in time, I had to go through that system. Mm -hmm. And I'm still in school as we speak. I'm glad. Studying public administration, basically. Mm -hmm. And once I'm done with that, I'd, I'd, I'd master somewhere. And then, like, I only try to do the most that I can as one who is given a lot to deal with. Mm -hmm. So to who much is given again, <laughs> much is expected. Take me through mm -hmm. the process of you writing your music and, you know, recording. What's the process like? No, it's a feeling. It's a feeling. It comes and we put it down and immediately the idea shipping and we deliver mm -hmm. and bring some good, good, good music out. Like the other night we calligraph. Mm. See, yeah. the thought process doesn't only start when we meet up in the studio. Mm -hmm. It starts when you even probably envision the two artists that are going to jump on a mm -hmm. certain kind of song. Mm. So basically, from production, they're trying to tailor and get some samples and some ideas off of songs that have been already mm. produced or released by such and such artists. So by the time you get into the studio, you know, they may have figured out some things that you'll be good on. Mm -hmm. You know, and then that was what kind of happened at, um, at um, Calligraph's you know, studio, and Take we created a real good masterpiece. Tell me about it. Uh, you know, um, what, what what exactly should we expect from you and Calligraph? Because Big this tune. sounds really good. Yeah, the combination sounds like, okay, what should we expect? But uh -huh. yeah, I think you guys were lucky and you dropped a snippet of the chorus <laughs> somehow, some part of the song. Uh -huh. So just keep that one with you guys and keep warming up until he drops the main body of work. And guess what? Big tune. Trust me, I can put my money on that one. Okay. You did a collaboration with Kerry Hilson. Beautiful Empress. Ah. Uh, 
it's Maybe you are gonna nomi nominate yeah, yeah. my number one candidate. This shall love you the carry every weight. Yeah, yeah. Don't keep me waiting. How is it like working with Carrie Hills? Like Carrie Hills is amazing. Me. We did that song right there in Atlanta in her studio. Mm -hmm. We built the rhythm from scratch. Dre Harris, thank you, Selassie, produced producers on that track. Right from scratch, we wrote, we sang every single word till we finished. It was a beautiful moment. Genuine person, real at heart, no ego. All this unnecessary stuff don't really stand her chance. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song came out. We went back and shot another crazy, amazing, beautiful video. What else can I ask for in a, in a friend? Talk about, you know, ego. And sometimes it's difficult working with artists who are egocentric. How do you deal with that, especially when you realize or you, you, know, you get to meet an artist who's difficult to work with? Mm, I don't deal with egoistic artists, mm. so there's no way I find a way to deal with it. Mm -hmm. If it were not for music, what else could you have done? In my dreams, I'd have been an army officer, like a flight commander, whatever what? it is. In my dreams, because I dreamt like that. Yeah. In my wishes, I'd have probably been a, uh, probably a doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So dreams and wishes are different. But in God's plan, mm -hmm. I'm a messenger of the word. Mm -hmm. uh, therapy is one of your latest mm -hmm. songs, or, or, or I mean latest song, uh, with, song. Uh, you know, uh, Gidipa. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yo, for me, uh, there's a there's a vibe I catched with with that song, but again, I'll just be patient and humble. Uh, does that show us that it's a sneak peek to a new album that might be dropping soon? Absolutely, hoping to drop it in March already. Talk about it. I mean, it's a combination of greatness of sounds. You know what I mean? Okay. We're still wrapping up with the title of the album, mm -hmm. but we have therapy as a beautiful single that's been out, mm -hmm. and we follow it up with Gidigba, whose promo we're doing here right now. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, mm -hmm. and Yiligba is a monster <laughs> It's well. a monster, yeah, it's a monster. Who should we expect to be in that album? In that album, expect words, sounds, and power. Okay. Everyone. Let's talk about, uh, you know, um, you wanting to be on Sean Paul's album as much as... <laughs> oh, yeah. You, don't, you know, I don't want people to take that in a negative light. Yeah, because totally. sometimes when we speak the truth of how things were done, mm -hmm. we rather get to be, you know to be misquoted and yeah. put in a setting demeaning context where it is not really what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be looked upon as mm. reality vibes. I was in Jamaica, I linked up with The Godfather, mm -hmm. and I was playing songs from an album to be yet released. I'm like, yo, dada, me figure up on that one day. You know? mm. And he said, yeah. All right, me, I open it up. You know. He opens up some 12 bars, and right. I want to spin inside, mm -hmm. and that's it done so there was zero ego like i told you it's just like yeah we're working towards a course stoneboy is in jamaica mm. he feels the song i'm mm -hmm. like yo i could drop some bars on that he opens it and agrees that's so very very honoring mm -hmm. that's so honorable of him to have that you know the whole involvement crossing over from ghana to jamaica true. and making sure that we keep these links alive yeah true in and with our music arts and culture mm. Who would you want people to remember you for? Oh, that rebel with the cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You were signed in Universal, um, you know, uh, music, mm. Def Jam in 2022. Mm. Do you think that has changed your career mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. how has it impacted you in any way? You know, we're still work in progress. You know what I mean? And we're all contributing our quotas into getting the thing to the next level and to the next level. So that's where we are. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about... Not too many things okay, have sorry. happened. Mm -hmm. on, on Not too many things have happened, but at least we've dropped therapy, we've dropped Gidigba, and we'll be looking forward to dropping an album and a lot more, a lot more. Like, it's been amazing so far, mm -hmm. but definitely there's room for improvement and there's room for more work. Mm -hmm. yeah. The biggest stage that you've ever performed in? Hmm. Must be the reggae sound fest or the Afro Nation stages. I told you I loved your performance Thank you. at the reggae, uh, you know, summer jam in Germany. Thank you. Um, let's talk about Livingstone Foundation and what inspired you to start that foundation. 
I mean, I, this foundation has been like a bit more than five years. You see, coming from where I come from, mm -hmm. I have experienced every little bit of suffering that there can be. So going through that, I realized that the quicker I actually carry a few people with me the hard way, the better for me because it makes you, it gives you some fulfillment. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's just... My bad. It's been a busy day. Mm -hmm. It's been a busy day. I'm sorry. That's actually, you know, the purpose of the foundation to mm. take care of, to, you know, to see to the educational, um, um, the educational, um, social, environmental, you know what I mean? Yeah. That part of me is, is uh, that, that, that part of the things that I wish to do is the foundation. Okay. That's why it has my name. The Livingstones Foundation. Okay. We just finished refurbishing a school in the Volta region. Oh. You know, and about to submit it to, you know, a few of our our comp our 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 how do you say, our Sponsors our allies, or allies. You know. Okay. You know who who came together for us to undergo this project. So basically, I'm just work in progress. You know, on mm. all aspects. Yeah. How would you say our African reggae music is received outside there? You know, like I would be, I would. Okay, let me let me put it this way. Like, um, Jamaicans created reggae music, so definitely you know that they, it's attributed to them more than when you're doing it from the continent of Africa, mm -hmm. like myself. But there's a need to actually connect mm -hmm. and also stay relevant in that in that space. Okay. So, you know, um, acceptance is key. And you can't force yourself on anybody. You have to just be a good commodity for people to consume. True. So that's how I see it. Mm. Like, you know, man's, man's a, how, a name in Jamaica. Stoneboy is a name in Jamaica. Okay. By virtue of promotion, by virtue of touching base and linking, connecting. Mm -hmm. So Do you that's think just it's it. Hard? I think when you push, you're going to go through, you know, on the other side. And when the other side also pushes, it comes through the side. Mm -hmm. It's not just idle. You know, yeah. nobody's sitting now idle to say, I'm not accepting your song or I'm rejecting your song. Mm -hmm. you know? So you think it's hard for us to perform, out, especially in Jamaica? Yeah, compared. but we just need to have a few more shows that would hire mm -hmm. a lot more artists from Africa. Okay. That's it. The craziest thing a fan has ever done to you? Throw a pant at me or something. And how did you react to that? Mm, I, I'm, I'm actually, like, what? It's happened more than once. Mm -hmm. The first time, I was like, yo, it's happening. Then that means that's the next level stuff anyway. Yeah. Yeah, because the thing has to get to a level where they would actually duff their pants out for you and mm -hmm. their bras and all of that. So for me, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say it's normal because mm -hmm. in the end, I'd have to give glory and credit to music, you know, for the power I possess is that when it comes through me, mm -hmm. people want to show me some sort of love. Mm. And, you know, that's the way they can actually present it. Yeah. Before we finish up, let's talk about, you know, the current uh, movement that is taking place. Uh, we, we are seeing a lot of um, Jamaican collaborations or rather reggae music, dance or music with the Afrobeat. Um, I've seen um, collaboration between Spice and Yemi Alade. Uh, there's a lot of collaborations you've done when it comes mm. to, you know, Jamaican mm -hmm. artists and you. Uh, where do you think this is going to put us in the map? I mean, that's the same thing I stand for. It's going to strengthen us on the map. It's going to bring out the oneness that we have always yearned to be. Mm -hmm. It's going to continue to pour into that consciousness of listening. Mm. Our music is music of black origin. Okay. And therefore, we can connect it at any point in time whether you come from the Caribbean or you come from the cores of Africa. Mm. Don't know. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to strengthen our bonds. Absolutely, and bring unity amongst us as black people. Okay. Because when we all unite and sing mm. one song, then there can be a change in some, in some aspects. What's your favorite song and your favorite collaboration that you've ever done? Um, it's really difficult to say because guess what? I will pick one, mm -hmm. but I'm not... Technically correct. Okay. You know, because this question are for the fans, basically. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. They are for the fans. Okay. So if you ask me who creates <laughs> the music, 
which one is my favorite. It's just like after giving birth to my kids, I'm choosing one over all of them. <laughs> it's really difficult for me to choose because I, 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 I vibe off to my own songs depending on moods. Okay. You know what I mean? So you tell me what best, which one of my songs is your best song? In okay, apart from, apart from Run Go, mm. I think um, a lot of your songs, uh, there's a song you've done with Davido. Um, Activate. Yes. Mm. Um, there's a song you've done with uh, Sean Paul that is exactly, like... Exactly, most original, Beanie Man Sugar. Yes. Sizzler Shoot You, uh -huh. Cali Bots, um, 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 Bounce It. Whole lot, whole lot. Kabaka Pyramid Borders, uh, Agent Sasko, Akuna Matata, I Octane Feeling Lonely, mm -hmm. Buju Bantan and the Pipeline in the same way, um, Gentleman, Gentleman, yeah, Gentleman, also, yeah, yeah. enough things. Yeah, right. Exactly, yeah. um, as we wrap up, I know family, family has played a major role when it comes to your life. Do you think um, there's one thing that you would change? in terms of like you being in the music industry and having family at the same time? Because a lot of artists do say it clashes or it, well, it comes in between, I don't know. That's why you have to have a strong mind. Okay. You have to understand growth. Mm -hmm. You have to just, you know, make sure that you're with the right partner and then things can soothe up. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what I can say about that part of it. This is something I didn't want to talk about, but it's good for Kenyan, mm. you know, your Kenyan fans mm. to understand it. Uh, we love Shata, we love your music, mm. but uh, from, I think it was 2019, if I'm not wrong, uh, it was an award and um, the fans clashed. And it uh, pushed to an extent of you guys being arrested. What exactly is happening between you two? Because yeah, people I, tend I, some people I, tend to say it's cloud chasing. Yeah, I mean, all I can say is not cloud chasing, and I really don't want to talk about that. You though. don't want to, and if you don't want to talk about it, we respect it a hundred percent. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for being. Love you guys so much too, my <laughs> G. Love you guys, man, for you know keeping the keeping the energies positive and keeping the forwardness yeah. of it. You know, right? right. That's very very important mm -hmm. because. Sometimes you see it's not all the news that is 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 in, is, is important to 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 go over. Mm. As much as it's newsworthy, it's really not important to go over because it becomes like, you know, dipping a, a pinch of poison in a fruit juice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it still has an effect. It still takes an effect. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Something that we should expect soon than we anticipate. Yeah, man, look out for the album, look out for another one that we're going to be dropping before the year ends. And I can't wait to share with you guys. The album is cooking, is almost ready for you guys. So we're about to go really hard. And all I pray you is to pray for me if you love me. And even if you hate me, don't I love you. Love. And I mean, because I don't have any iota of hate for anybody. Right. So long as I want to progress in life, I cannot wish anybody to retrogress in life. One love. Big love. One Thank God. You. Thank you so much for yeah, squeezing man. in some time for me. Really appreciate Big it. Big respect, Empress. Thank you. Nice. It's been such a nice time with Stone Boy, the mm -hmm. one and only, the only king <laughs> in dance or music in Africa. He's representing it to the fullest. Thank you. And we are so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so, so elated. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm your host, Miss Katiwa, the Caribbean Queen. Let's meet on the next episode. Peace. Big up. Big up.